my name is Michael Adams. I'm the arts reporter at the Indianapolis Star, and today I'm here at the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra with concert master Zach DePew. Zach, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Michael? Good to see you, man. Good to, Good see, to you see you. Too. It's been a Great while. To see you. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I should have my coffee. Yeah, have your coffee. Yeah, hey, this cheers, is the, man. Yeah, cheers, man. Hey, you want some yeah. Bailey's in there? there you are, yeah. <laughs> Do we have some? Do we, do we have some? So do you, your time for three has been signed by your Universal Records. Is that is that right? That's um, right. And we're actually yeah. hoping to, to do the release here in Indianapolis. Seeing that, really? like, you know, the, the trio's been here uh, as artists in residence now for five years. Okay. It's a collaborative album. Um, it's really bringing together a lot of the work we've done here at the Symphony. Um, people may remember the Happy Hour show with Joshua Radin. Mm -hmm. Um, that's sort of the center centerpiece collaboration on this album. Yeah. Now, what role did you play in putting all of that together? You know, really, with with the with the uh, ensemble and residents, with time for three, I, I have an outside role, more so because I'm concertmaster of the orchestra. Okay. My my main focus here is is my job sitting in that chair. Yeah. That now, is there is there a certain artist that you would like to collaborate with that's outside of the realm of classical music? Well, I mean. Yes, absolutely. I mean, have you guys talked about uh, putting something together, reaching out to certain artists? You know, we have, and and we haven't reached out necessarily. We've, you know, there, we've sort of, you know, our our world has come colliding with other worlds from time, not colliding, but yeah. but rubbed up against other worlds, and and. Um, you know, I think that, you know, we did an arrangement of Crimea River by Justin Timberlake, and I think he saw that. Okay. Um, would I would I be excited to do something with him, like, as an art artist? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think he's unbelievable talent and, and awesome singer. So this upcoming season, the yeah. ISO's upcoming season, let's talk about some of the things you're really excited about this year. Well, I'm excited about the diversity of the programming. I mean, okay. we have everything ranging from, you know, Beethoven's Ninth, which everybody may be familiar with or is familiar with. Yeah. Um, to, to Messian, uh, an incredible French composer, to Elgar, to Mendelssohn. It, a lot of what we do is meant to, to provoke thought, provoke um, emotions, for you to experience things that have happened in history. You know, honestly, outside of my music history studies that I did in school, I just Wikipedia stuff. And, and it helps. It really, <laughs> really helps. And it, 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 that's all it takes. You can do it from your phone in yeah. the lobby while you're having your cocktail. Now, you're 34 years old. And yeah. I, I, right. I was going, yeah, he's 34. And single, right? Single? Yeah. He's single. Uh, so you're 34 years old. And I was going down through the 2014-15 through the season. Yeah. And a lot of it is dominated by conductors and talent that's, you know, 40 and under. I mean, we have yeah. a pianist, Alice Sarah Ott, who yeah. is 26 years old. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, is this indicative of other uh, symphonies <coughs> around, around the country, I mean, or worldwide? Well, first off, you know, other symphonies, there's definitely a new, a new um, generation coming in yeah. to classical music. Um, it's exciting to see people more my age or even younger coming to the symphony and seeing artists that are their age or a little older or a little younger and be like holy holy crap yeah like this this person's my age and they're doing this and is it is it symbolic i mean i think for indianapolis it's a huge opportunity you know the hiring of christoph three years ago was not an accident mm -hmm. you know we are getting one of the one of the um, biggest talents before he has blown up even though he's now conducted the los angeles philharmonic twice National Symphony, the NDR Symphony. He's going to Berlin next season. Right. I mean, he's having an incredible run right now. Um, he's growing as an artist and as a musician. And you know, we we were able to create a relationship with him before any of that took off. You know, speaking of young, you're you're young new reporter. Here I, in town. Yeah, yeah, young and you know, not single, unfortunately. I mean, not unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, yeah, that, and that's, that's where we end it. The... That's where it ends. That's where it ends. Okay. Oh, yeah, Venzago. Venza Venzago. 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 You, know, you can just say, man, just you have you have former music directors coming back, and I'll take okay. it. Okay. So you have these former music directors coming back. Yeah. How will it be to work with them again? Well, it's incredible to see the orchestra because we still have people from, uh, not still have, we have musicians from the eras of Raymond Leppard who were hired by him. We have uh, musicians that were hired by Mario Venzago, mm -hmm. um, my being one of them, actually. The orchestra has an incredible soft spot in its heart mm -hmm. for Mario. Yeah. Um, as a musician, as an artist, um, you know, the way he, he ended up leaving here, which was abrupt, right. but um, the orchestra is very excited to be able to play with him. Just they, it, it's, it's, a, it's a love fest when Mario is here. It's another example 
of new blood, new perspective, new generations coming right. in and sort of, you know, getting an understanding of what yesteryear was like mm. and seeing where this might go. I always relate it to, you know, that kid in, in The Princess Bride when his grandfather comes in. Yeah. He says, I've got a story for you. And he's like, oh, come on, Grandpa. I just want to play my video games. Okay, all right. Why don't you try it? Yeah. He starts reading, and the kid's like, all right. You know? And he starts getting into the thing and, and into the story. And then, you know, the next break to, to the grandfather's like, well, we've probably done enough. And, and then like, the no, kid's like, wait, wait, wait. No, give me more. <laughs> give me more. No, 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 finish the story. You can't, you can't leave me there. You know, that's what I relate it to, is that anybody that's not familiar it's like their grand, you know, coming into the symphony halls, like their grandfather sitting down with them with a book and saying, I have something amazing to show you. One of the biggest things I always hear from people is, it just seems so intimidating mm -hmm. to walk in. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to behave this way or that way? How am you I know, supposed to dress? How am I supposed to dress? Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, this is fine. What I have on is fine. Yeah. It is a challenge. It's a, it's a, it, it's a it's a risk in that you know we continue to try to um, renew our belief in the music by by bringing in new people right. to to interpret it with us and, and to try new things. Awesome, Thanks, Michael, man. appreciate it. Thanks a lot, brother. I really do appreciate. Yeah, it. absolutely. The seats will go fast. Yeah. So you got to get them now. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>